Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing this look for you here. We're mainly focusing today on this new launch from Nabla. So I will kind of just be showing you the specific products from this collection. So the glitter palette, the blushes, the liner, the uh, bronzers, as well as all the lip glosses and showing you kind of how these products in particular work. So I'll do kind of like certain things off camera and really just focus on showing you the products from this specific collection um, and giving you just my full thoughts on how all of them work for me and what I feel about them. So yeah, that is basically it. I will go through the tutorial really quick and then I will do the review afterwards so you can see my final thoughts and everything and yeah that's pretty much it um, if you are new here I'd really love for you to subscribe to see all my future videos I upload whenever I can because I'm a mom and I work full-time so um, I don't always upload every other day like I used to so bear with me with that um, but I upload as often as possible so if you'd want to subscribe to see those future videos I really love for you to join um, and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see how I got the look and then hear what I think about these products, um, then let's just get right into it. Okay guys, so this is the look I came up with with the eye products from this collection. So let's just kind of jump right in. I'm going to start off by priming my eye a little bit. I'm going to first use my Woma Beauty Concealer um, and I'm just going to put this on my brow bone, kind of like all the way in to my inner corner. And this is just going to prime like this part of my eye because I want to use that black base from the collection, but I don't want the concealer to like mess with the depth of that black, um, base and turn it like lighter or anything. So that's why I'm just putting it up here so that this area is primed, but then I can use the dark base kind of over here where I want to use it and it'll stay true to its color. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this. It is the Cupid's Arrow um, pencil number four. And I'm going to make a chunky wing that tends to be how I like to use these as bases. You guys know I prefer to do like wingy eye shapes anyway. So this is just those like what is comfortable for me. So I'm just gonna kind of pull this into a chunky wing shape. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is extremely creamy and literally like just glides right on. It is also extremely dark and pigmented, this particular color. So now I'm gonna take a little tiny flat brush. This is a MAC 228. And I'm going to just start really lightly buffing out the edge. I do not want this pencil to go like too far. I don't wanna blend it too far. So I'm using a smaller brush and being a little more careful as I'm blending this in just to perfect the shape. But like I said, not like take it too far. And I love using this type of brush for this kind of product because as you can see out here, you can just really get like such a nice precise wing with that. Just using the tiny little brush to kind of buff the edge. And as you can see, I'm just kind of doing like dragging motions around the edges. Okay, so that is what the liner looks like blended out. As you can see, even blended out, it is so pigmented, blended very easily. You can get like some nice precision when you use a little brush with it. And I'm kind of obsessed. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna quickly throw on some eyeshadow. For the eyeshadow today, I'm using the uh, Cutie Berry Palette um, that they came out with, or Wild Berry Palette they came out with uh, like, um, I don't know how long ago, it was, it was a couple months ago. And yeah, I'm gonna be using the three matte shades in this palette to throw on this kind of like eyeshadow look. And then once I'm done with that, we're gonna come back and we're gonna start playing with this palette here. All right, so now I have the eyeshadow on. I basically just 
blended the deep color over the liner and then blended the two kind of reddish purple colors, this one and this one here. Um, and then just blended those kind of like around to make this little smokiness. So now I'm gonna go in with my NYX glitter primer. I always use glitter primer whenever I'm using shimmers or glitters just because I don't want them to move around during the day and I want them to really pop. And I would highly recommend always using a glitter base, even when you're using these kind of like press glitters, cause they do have like, you know, like a gel or like some kind of base to them to keep them pressed in the pan. You should definitely still use a glitter base just to make sure they really stick. Like this NYX one is really good and it's super inexpensive. I'm sure most of you have it. Um, yeah, it works really well. So putting a base of that all over like this inner half of my lid. And then I'm gonna take the shade Muses, which is this one here. As soon as I saw this palette, I really was drawn to this color because I just feel like I don't see this very much. I definitely think um, these three shades in here are pretty unique in terms of pressed glitter. Like I don't feel like I've seen these a million times. That kind of like a duochrome white that's in the other corner, it's really pretty, but it's definitely not like super unique or something you've never seen before in a pressed glitter. Still nice to have, you know, if you don't have something like that. And again, these other colors in this palette are very unique, so I enjoy having them. But yeah, so I'm just kind of like tapping this with my finger all over where I put that base. That color is so pretty. I love all the different like duochrome colors in there. There's so many different, just like, I don't know. There's so many different tones in this glitter and it's really pretty. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of the lighter like white duochrome one, which is called Aries in the palette. And that is gonna go on the inner corner of my eye just to kind of add a little bit something different. I didn't want it like fully all the same color. This gives it like a little variation. This one's got a bit more of like a warm tone to the glitter in this color. So it kind of like switches it up from just like this bluey green multicolor duochrome on the lid. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of my concealer under my eye just to give us a base for the shadow that I'm gonna blend out underneath. And I'm gonna take a little bit more of this Cupid's Arrow and I'm gonna run this all the way across my lower lash line and then on my tight line. This pencil, like I said, it's so dark. As you can see, like it is crazy dark and it goes right on. It is extremely creamy. You do not have to tug with this like at all. Um, it's just gonna go right in. And then I'm going to, again, kind of blend down the edge a little bit with this same MAC brush. Really quickly, I'm gonna put the same shades on top of this as I did on the top. So starting with the deep matte and then I'm gonna blend it out with the two more raspberry colored matte colors. Again, I'm gonna grab a little bit of my glitter adhesive and we're just gonna end up putting the same glitters that we did on top on the bottom, just again, like I usually like to do, to bring the color around and make the look really cohesive. So I'm just gonna put this glitter base on the inner half of my lower lash line. And I'm gonna use my little brush here to apply the more red toned glitter to the inner half, or excuse me, the outer half of the inner corner. And then I'll take a little bit more of the lighter glitter right here. Okay, so that is the eye look done. I'm gonna throw on my lashes really quick and my mascara and the rest of my face makeup. And then we'll come back to start trying out the bronzer and blushes. All right, so now we're going to dip in to the bronzers. I have my foundation, obviously, and everything on. I used my Pure 4-in-1 Love Yourself Foundation, my uh, Woma Beauty Concealer, and then I used 
my, um, where is it? My Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder to set everything. And then I also use my Wilma Beauty Baby Hair Brow Pencil to do my brows today. I really love that pencil, by the way, guys. Highly recommend. So I am going to dip into the bronzers. So I'm gonna show you the colors really quick. I did show them on my Instagram stories and you may have seen them, but here they are. They go from very light to very dark. So there's Ombra, which is the lightest one. Then you have Dune, which is a little darker and it's very, like it looks a little bit more warm. You then have Soft Revenge, which is the third deepest color here. It looks very gray toned in the pan, but when I swatched it, it seems very neutral, like extreme perfect neutral, if there was such a thing in a bronzer, like no warm, no cool, like perfect in the middle. And then you have the deepest one, which is called Profile. So the shade range, a bronzer shade range like this, like have you ever seen a brand come out with a bronzer? Maybe, I think like Fenty would, I think pretty sure they have done that. But other than Fenty, like I can't think of another brand off the top of my head that has come with such a difference between the lightest and darkest bronzer shade. I feel like most bronzer shade ranges that come out for like summer collections and stuff is like this. And like this is the darkest color. So that to me is really amazing that they went so dark with the bronzer shades. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna play around with the lighter ones. I feel like this one, um, Soft Revenge, this keeps like calling my name, it's so interesting to me, this color, but I'm worried that that would look so dark on me and I'm look crazy. So I'm gonna start off with the lightest one. This is called Ombra. And then maybe I'll add a little bit of Dune as well to like deepen up if I need to. Again, I really wanna try this one but I don't wanna look crazy also. So we will just kind of go with it and see what happens. So I'm gonna use my Nabla um, Big Powder Brush is the name of this one, just perfect for bronzing. And again, I'm gonna start with the lightest bronzer and just kind of go in with this and get a feel for the color and the formula. This is the same kind of like packaging and look and texture, like when I swatch them, it feels the same as their, um, as their like skin glazing powders. And these are called skin bronzing powder. So I'm sure it's a similar formula where it's kind of this really nice, like very soft milled kind of powder that gives like a very natural skin like finish. Um, their powders have this kind of glow to them and when I swatched these yesterday, um, they definitely have like a very glowy, sheeny kind of look to them, even in a swatch. So if you want a bronzer that's not gonna make you look dry, this would probably be it. All right, so there is a light layer of that shade, and this is probably like gonna be a literal perfect bronzer for really pale people. Like if you're super pale and you have trouble finding a bronzer, like that blends in so nice and it looks very soft, very natural. Most people, I think, would probably say, Allison, that's perfect, that's enough. Look, you have a contour. I can't do that. I love darker bronzer, I don't know why. So I'm gonna go in with the next darkest shade, which is Dune. And I'm just gonna like, deepen up a little bit. And like I said, this one looks a little warmer. So this will probably add a little warmth, a little more warmth too. Yeah, so see how that like, it deepens it up a little more, but it's still not too dark. So I'd definitely say this would work for like light to medium skin tones as like a bronzer contour kind of thing. The lighter one would be perfect for super fair to light skin tones who want just a subtle contour and bronze kind of look. And again, I really want to use soft spoken, but I don't think I'm going to because I don't want to like mess up the look because I feel like my skin looks really nice right now by going in with that and it being like way too dark for me because I don't know. I have a tendency to do that, so I won't do it today. Maybe like when, because right now I don't have a fake tan on, maybe in another video or look I do when I have actually a fake tan going on, um, I might try that darker one just to see what it looks like. All right, next I'm gonna go dig into my bag here. 
and we're gonna try the blush. So these are called like the skin glazing um, powders, which is the same name that they give for like their highlighters and stuff. Um, but these are definitely like, would be used as like blush shades. So here are the two shades. You have Independence here, which is more of a neutral, and then Lola, which has a bit more color, like a pinky peach to it. I think today I wanna use Independence. I really like when I first watched this one and saw it, I was like, ooh, I like that because I love this kind of like neutral pink kind of vibe. So I'm just gonna use a Morphe M554 brush, my favorite blush brush to apply this. And this has that same kind of really glowy, natural skin finish, like most of their powders do. Same as the bronzer. And I find that these skin glazing powders that are in the blushy colors are extremely pigmented. So if you don't take that into account when you put them on, like I've done that before where I didn't realize how pigmented they were. I think it was in like my first Nabla video I did. Um, and I got like a huge pink mark because they are, the color really comes off on these blushes. So you want to be like careful. So I'm only getting like a little bit on my brush and then I'm just kind of like layering it up so that I don't go like too blushy too quick. And of course, just put that down the center of my face like I like to do. And there are like highlighter um, powders in this collection. So I'm just going to keep with the Nabla theme and pull out um, another Nabla highlight. It's the Skin Glazing Powder in the shade Ozone. And just use this for my highlight today. This is their lightest highlight. And now finally, I'm gonna do a lip. So I put on my, one of my favorite lip liners. It's the NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Beige. And now we're gonna go in with a lip gloss. I forgot one in here. Okay, so there are six lip glosses in this collection. Um, they're called the Lip, sh or sorry, Shine Theory Lip Gloss. The packaging on these is so beautiful. It is like a lip gloss and then you have this like top here and the gold part like comes off the top there and it's got like little gold flakes in the clear bit on the top. I don't know, it's just like really bougie and cute. So I really like the look of them. And these are the colors. So you have this one, which is called Renaissance, and it's like a champagne with multicolored glitter in it. You have um, District, which looks like a creamy kind of brown nude. Um, you have Champagne Supernova, which is like a golden, got a mix of like copper and champagne and multicolored flex and like clear base. Um, this is RSVP and it's got a really subtle kind of berry, sheer berry um, gloss with like copper and like some deeper multicolored flex in that one. You have this one which is called Toxic Love which is really interesting color. It has, again, like a sheer kind of base, more like a sheer brown nude base. And then the glitter in this one is very duochrome -y. It's kind of like flips from like pink to green to gold. And I see even a little like aqua blue in there. So that one's really cool. And then the final one is called Stardust Radio. And it's more of a coral base with like a golden and pink reflex in it. So to go with this look, I'm immediately, of course, drawn to like the nude colors because I'm boring. I have a feeling I'm just gonna do this one, which is Renaissance. Although I do also really love the shade Toxic Love. I don't know, that's kind of fun too. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I think I'm gonna play it safe and do this one. I don't know, let me actually, let me do something different. I'm gonna do this one, Toxic Love and just see what that looks like. If I hate it, I'll just put this one on instead, but we will see. So let's see what this formula is like. Yeah, you can really see the pink when you put that on. But again, it's got a sheer base. You can put it with like a nude lip liner and it's like just adding like a subtle pinkness to my lip without being like over the top colorful, you know? That's actually really cute. I think I really like that. I actually hate lip gloss, but these are kind of like, 
They're more of a creamy feeling, like hydrating feeling lip gloss. They're not sticky. At least it doesn't really feel like it on my lips. I like if you use like MAC lip gloss, then you know what a sticky lip gloss is like because those damn things are sticky and it does not feel like that. So if you're used to that feeling or if you've had them before, which a lot of you probably have, it's not like that. It's definitely more creamy. Um, but that color is actually really nice. It actually just added like the most subtle bit of pink to this nude lip. Like I thought it was going to be wild looking at it in the package, but it kind of just like mixes with what you have going on already on your lip. And it's kind of cute. My bun is so small right now. I need to make it bigger because I feel like my head looks freaking huge. Um, anyway, so yeah, I actually kind of like that color. That's pretty. I'm not going to change it. I think that works really well. Okay guys, so here is the finished look with this collection from Nabla. So um, here are my thoughts on this collection. I really have enjoyed pretty much everything from this collection. Um, as you saw in my, as I was kind of going through this and trying everything on, everything worked really well. I mean, nothing, I didn't think anyone anything wasn't gonna work well because I think these are all fairly like, basic formulas that are kind of probably hard to mess up. The hardest, like the easiest thing to mess up would probably be this like eyeshadow palette or the glitter palette. But um, I'm actually kind of really impressed with everything. I really enjoy everything. For me, the standout product from the collection are these bronzers. I really love these bronzers. Um, I've mentioned this in previous videos when I've used these formulas that the Nabla skin powder formulas are really nice. You guys know I wasn't a big fan of their regular press powder or like their complexion line, but their color line in like the highlights, the blushes, and now these bronzers are phenomenal. And I know a lot of you guys have purchased um, after seeing my reviews, which I really appreciate you guys. Um, I really appreciate that you guys respect my opinion and I love when I can recommend something to you guys and you really end up loving it and you guys message me about it. So thank you for messaging me when you've gotten something that you really like. But I've noticed a lot of my followers have mentioned that they bought um, like the powders or the highlighters, or excuse me, the blushes or the highlighters after I've mentioned them before in the past. And if you have tried them and you like the formula, um, you will not be disappointed with these bronzers. Again, shade range is unbelievable. I think this is so great. Maybe you could go even one shade darker, but I think even having this type of shade range on an initial launch is amazing. And just based on Nabla's current shade range and like their foundation and stuff. Um, I foresee them. I'm sure they will come out with even more colors in these, especially since I know they're going to be super popular and people are going to buy these up like crazy. I totally see them coming out with even more colors down the line, but having this deep of a bronzer shade from initial launch is so amazing. And again, the formula on these was so nice to apply. They blended so nicely into my skin. I feel like it just looks very seamless. So that is definitely for me like the standout product. I also really loved this blush color. I'm happy to like add a more neutral kind of color into um, my Nabla collection because I definitely think the other colors that I have from them that are kind of like blushy are very like out there and like either they had like, you know, when they came out initially they have like some lighter ones, but Definitely still kind of on the colorful side. They also have that really amazing like dark shimmery red one for deeper skin tones, which again is really colorful. So I'm really happy that they came out with like a nice kind of perfect neutral that I think would work across a lot of different skin tones. But of course I'm sure this one will be like a perfect like coral summery kind of blush color um, to give you like a nice flush. The lip glosses really surprised me in terms of this formula. Feeling it on my lips, it is extremely comfortable. It is not sticky. It feels very creamy. I am so surprised, like looking at this color, what I thought it was gonna look like and what it actually looks like. It adds such a perfect pink tint to this nude lip. Um, and I think there's a lot of colors here to work with to work for a lot of various skin tones to give different kinds of looks. So I'm very excited to continue to try some of these colors cause they are really pretty. I, could, I really wanna try this like coral shade. I don't know, that one's really nice too. And also this like champagne supernova, but this 
nude here. I think honestly, just like looking at it, this looks like it would be that kind of perfect, like neutral brown that would really, again, work across a lot of skin tones. I know I say that a lot, but I do think that's really important to like, you know, when someone comes out with like a collection, um, to be able that a lot of different people can use it. You know what I'm saying? I think that's really important. So I definitely foresee this being like a perfect nude, whether you're super fair going up to really deep skin tones, like pairing this kind of nude color with the nude lip liner that works for your skin tone. I think this could work on really anyone, which is so nice too. And then finally, this glitter palette worked super well. I love the unique colors in here. Um, I'm actually gonna go grab a palette really quick and show you something. So initially when I was getting ready to do this video, I was so torn between the looks I wanted to do because like I said, these glitters are very unique colors. Um, especially these three. I think they're really beautiful and unique. This isn't just your plain old like brown. It's like coppery, but then sort of has like a mauviness to it, but then also some warmth and some multicolor. That's really cool. But then this one too, I was also like really intrigued and it was hard picking between the two. I decided to go with this one because I felt it was like a, it was a little more unique, but this one I'm so excited to use because as soon as I saw that color, I immediately thought of their Dreamy 2 palette. And they have these couple like really beautiful kind of periwinkle, I would call it, you know, like a very cool toned purple shades. And I feel like if I, that was the other look I was thinking of doing was like going in with these periwinkle type colors and this like deep purple here and doing a really smoky look with like this on top would be so nice. But then also like imagine this warm brown throwing in a little of this deep purple and then using this on the lid. Oh, so I'm very excited to keep using this. Like possibilities are endless. I'm very excited to have that. And again, I think these are very unique glitter topper colors compared to things that I've seen from a lot of brands. Again, like I mentioned, I think this one is a bit standard in terms of what I see in palettes, but these three shades are very unique and I think you'd be really happy to have them in your collection. Another thing I really love about Nabla is the packaging. The packaging is really beautiful. Like it's a very unique packaging. It's got like this clear, but these aren't just like floating in there. Like they're within the packaging. So it's not like they're gonna fall out or anything, but it's just completely clear. And I don't know, that's very visually, visually appealing to me, which is something that I find important in makeup. I find it, it keeps things fun and exciting. Also really quick, I forgot to mention, the black pencil is, it's great. I mean, you guys know I mentioned in the video I did with the Cutie palettes when they first came out with those pencils. I really like the formulas um, and they all worked extremely well. I'm trying to remember, like there was the um, maroon one, there was that like light nude one and then the dark brown and they all worked extremely well and this formula is exactly the same. So if you already have one of these, um, this formula is gonna work just as well. Very long wearing, um, this black is very dark. It is extremely intense dark black. So if that's what you're looking for in like a creamy like cold pencil to use for like, to smudge out and do like smoky looks and add like a smoky base to your looks, you really like that. If you're looking for something to give you precision, I don't think you would like it. If there is a sharpener on the end to be able to sharpen the tip to a point if you use it and it's not pointed anymore, but it's still not gonna give you like precise, precise. As you saw in the video, I was able to use a brush to get a really precise line. So you could get there, but it would be easier to get there with a smaller pencil if that's what you're looking for. But yeah, if you're looking for more of like a base to add extreme like depth and smokiness underneath your shadow looks, then you will really enjoy that. So yeah, that is my review. I know it's a little long-winded, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got the information you wanted to get from this. Please let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments and I will answer them for you. And yeah, that is it. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe if you're new here. I'd love to have you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.